Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the season finale. They've just released the synopsis. It teases a lot about what's going to be happening in the episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So as we all saw this week, Godspeed has finally arrived, and the episode was amazing. It was fantastic to see a speedster villain back, and the twist was great, everyone wasn't expecting that, like, no one was going in like, oh, there's gonna be a 6 versus 6 free-for-all with these Godspeeds, so everyone is like, okay, who is the people in charge? Like, is there two main Godspeeds controlling these different teams, essentially? So, we're gonna have a theory video on that sometime later this week. However, for now, let's go ahead and break down the synopsis for The Flash's Season 7 finale, titled Heart of the Matter Part 2. This airs on July 20th and is episode 18, which is the final episode of the season. So this is how it goes. Season Finale The Flash enlists a host of speedsters, including Iris and his children from the future, Bart and Nora West Allen, to end the speedster war and defeat a deadly new adversary, the villainous Godspeed. And so they also put in brackets guest star Karan Oberi. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. So that's interesting that they've officially named someone as Godspeed. We knew that he had been cast, however, they never officially announced it. He was credited as Mystery Man. And so, you know, what can we break down from the synopsis? So, The Flash enlists a host of speedster allies, and this includes Iris and his future children, Bart and Nora West Allen are named, and they are all brought in to end the speedster war and defeat Godspeed. So, obviously this mentions the big thing, right? Speedster allies. There is going to be more than just a couple speedsters, right? So, obviously it names Bart and Nora. We know that they're coming, and this also confirms that XS is Nora. It's not Dawn or anything. It's not a different version of herself. Even though she might be changed, it is Nora West Allen. And it's also Bart is showing up, and he is Bart West Allen rather than just Bart Allen. That should be noted. Obviously, they are the children of Barry and Iris in the future. And so, the way they word it, saying a host of speedster allies, definitely suggests that there is more speedsters than just Bart, Nora, and also Barry. So, obviously, we know that Jay Garrick is coming, and that is definitely what they're referencing. However, we know that someone else is going to be helping Barry and the Flash family in this episode. And that is none other than Reverse Flash. So, it makes it seem like maybe, just maybe, Reverse Flash becomes an ally and is helping Barry. So we know from set photos that that's actually going to be happening. We know that Reverse Flash is going to be helping Barry take down Godspeed, so are they the only speedsters? Bart, Nora, Jay, Barry, and also Reverse Flash, aka Eobard Thorn. Is there going to be any other kind of surprise cameos that we're not expecting? Maybe that is a chance, however, for now, I would bank on all those guys showing up and being the speedsters that Barry enlists to help him take down Godspeed. And so it's interesting that they mention the speedster war, and then what they do after that is say, and defeat a deadly new adversary, the villainous Godspeed. So I think this means that with them wording it as new, I think the real Godspeed has been revealed by here, and they are taking down the actual real deal right here. And so, with, you know, the speeds to war, obviously, they're going to be stopping the clones, and then they will have the extra Godspeed, who will be the final big bad to take down. And so, I think with them splitting up in the wording, saying, like, speeds of war, and defeat a new deadly adversary, Godspeed, that means that they are two separate things now, because one has been probably defeated. Okay, so another thing about the wording of the synopsis is with him enlisting the help of Speedster allies, it mentions Iris. Obviously, Iris is going to be helping, but is she going to get powers? Because she is in that list of supposed Speedster allies. I think that might just be weirdly worded, or is there a chance that Iris becomes a Speedster again for this one episode? I guess that is a possibility considering that this is a very speedster heavy episode and like the kids are showing up so I guess there is like a tiny chance I don't know if this is just weird wording but also another thing with him enlisting the help of his children from the future it sounds like maybe he goes to the future and recruits them 
I know that they appear in the episode before this because this is the finale and this is a two-part episode. So I guess it is not super likely that Barry is going to enlist them. I think they're kind of just going to show up out of nowhere together, probably as the Tornado Twins and definitely working together and coming back at the same point because otherwise it would be like way too weird if like Nora showed up and then like a few days later Bart showed up out of nowhere. Wouldn't make sense, right? So they have to come back at the same point. So they definitely know each other. But with this synopsis, it kind of teases that maybe Barry will go to the future and list them. I don't know. Again, I think it's just kind of a bit weirdly worded, this synopsis. Because it gives off like a couple of different ideas. However, I'm excited about all of this. I can't wait to see what actually happens. Especially with these Godspeed episodes. Because it's going to be non-stop. Like, they have four episodes to finish this arc and go out with a bang. And you have the 150th episode coming up super soon. That is super exciting. And so this is going to be the second part of the two-part episode titled Heart of the Matter. Lots of people have theorized that Heart means August Heart, which is Godspeed's name in the comics and also in Season 5 of The Flash. So, yeah. Let's quickly go on to talk about the 150th episode, so the episode before and its synopsis. Because I think it's important that we tag this along with it because the story is basically one whole big story. And yes, I did talk about this a bit the other day, but I think it's very important. And so this is how it goes. Excess and Impulse surprise Barry and Iris in the 150th episode of The Flash. Barry and Iris greet their future children, Excess and Bart. And when they do this, a shocking secret threatens their new familial harmony. Meanwhile, the Godspeed War intensifies and threatens to destroy Central City. So this is episode 17, aka the 150th episode. As I've said many times, it's a big deal because it's a big landmark episode. Arrow made a huge deal out of it doing their documentary style episode. But The Flash is kind of falling more in line with the 100th episode. Instead of having the villains show up, it's going to be all the speedsters that are showing up. And obviously with the addition of a new speedster in the form of Impulse, aka... Bart Allen. So that is super exciting. Also, this synopsis confirms that they are calling him Impulse and not some other name, not like Kid Flash from the future or something. But yeah, so with this, it seems like Excess and Impulse are surprising Barry and Iris, so it doesn't look like what it suggests in the other synopsis is true. I think they are totally just going to show up in the past. And that's when Barry and Iris will greet their future children and you'll see them being like, oh crap, like Bart exists, like we didn't know we were going to have a son. Obviously they knew Nora existed or like a version of XS, however, they never knew about Bart so it's going to be a big thing for them. But there is something that is threatening their family and it's a shocking secret, could it have something to do with Bart, could it have something to do with Nora, it seems very likely that is to do with them. I think most likely is why they have turned up in the past. I think that is probably the secret that they are holding because, I mean, there has got to be like a huge reason for them to show up. Obviously, the Godspeed War is a big deal, but is it a big enough deal for them to show up? Is something bigger brewing in the background? And the Godspeed War is going to be continuing. Obviously, you have the two Godspeed teams going after each other. There is going to be some sort of conclusion to that. I've got a feeling that maybe that will be concluded like at the start of the second part of the two part episode, so that being the finale of course, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so the final thing, we just got news the other day that Candace Patton, Daniel Panabaker and Jesse L. Martin sign on for The Flash Season 8. So this is kind of big news. Although not the biggest news because normally they wouldn't report this right because this is just contract stuff. The only reason they are reporting this is because recently we got the announcement that Carlos Valdez was leaving the show and also Tom Cavanaugh's leaving the show as series regulars. So this is why they've reported it because people were unsure like, oh, who is going to show up next season? Is Iris going to be there? Is Caitlin going to be there? What about Joe? What about, you know, Cecile or anyone else like that? So it's great to have that confirmation. And I just want to say that is why we're getting these reports because people just left, so, you know, it was all up in the air. So it's nice to see that Candace is coming back, Danielle, and also Jesse for another season. And as you guys know, past season six, how the shows do it, I think they negotiate it by, like, season by season, or, like, block contracts, where they'll be like, okay, 
So it's season six. Now we're going to, you know, sign you up for two more years or something like that. And obviously they negotiate like pay rises and all that jazz. But but that's about it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any daily videos. Click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.